The pandemic shed light on the need for teachers to be quick studies and highly adaptable. But as the Pritchard Committee's research published this week highlights, the lack of support teachers have for their own professional growth in Kentucky is lacking. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky helps us understand this research and why Representative James Tipton will be sponsoring legislation in the next few days to help Kentucky's teachers make strides for generations of students to come. According to the Pritchard Committee in Kentucky, only 35% of public school fourth graders scored proficient or above on the NAEP National Assessment, placing Kentucky as 26th of 50 states. But in 2018, Kentucky was 17th, and in 2015, the Commonwealth was 8th. We've declined uh, when it comes to reading proficiency for our fourth graders. So that should be a big flag to the state um, that we're not getting something right. That's why the Pritchard Committee got to work to find a solution that they think starts with teachers. The recommendation is $3 million over three years to specifically support about 100 teachers um, in their first um, year to third year of teaching. Um, with a master to support them with a master teacher, support them around the national board standards, um, and then to measure the outcome of that investment. Kentucky Representative James Tipton says he's preparing to present this legislation next week. And I believe this initiative is one that we won't see the short term results, but I think in generations to come, I believe this initiative will be trans uh, transforming for our, our future citizens. And I just believe it's a, it will take some limited resources, but uh, I do believe these will be resources and funds well spent for the future of Kentucky. The future of Kentucky, which the Pritchard Committee says the pandemic highlighted the need for resources. Our teachers are have responded rapidly to the needs of students and families, often at the expense of probably what they needed to be doing to prepare themselves for remote learning. Um, and so, now, with still months ahead to go through the pandemic, we need to ensure that teachers have, have the support of one another. Support the committee hopes will be possible through funding from the state. In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.